Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Microsoft Defender for Identity. Well, Microsoft Defender for Identity is a cloud-based security solution that leverages the on-prem on -prem Active Directory signals to identify, detect and investigate advanced threats, compromised identities and malicious insider actions directed at your organizations. So, Microsoft Defender for Identity would work it would detect the threats it is it will focus on what is important it will reduce the fatigue of false positives it will protect at scale and then it would provide best in class security powered by intelligent security graph and now if we talk about a defender for identity architecture right to see how would the flow of Defender for Identities network and even capturing works and then we'll drill down to describe the functionality of the main components like the Defender Portal, Defender for Identity Sensors and Defender for Identity Cloud Services. So it is installed uh, installed directly on uh, your domain controller or ADFS servers. The Defender for Identity Sensor accesses the event logs it requires directly from the servers. After the logs and network traffic are passed by the sensor, Defender for Identity sends only the past information to the Defender for Identity cloud services. So only a percentage of the logs are sent. Now if you will identify the components, it is Microsoft 365 Defender Portal, it is your Defender for Identity sensors and then the Defender for Identity cloud service. So now when, when we come to Microsoft 365 Defender Portal, let me just quickly log on to the portal now. Now if I go to the portal, now this Defender Portal would create uh, the Defender for Identity instance. I display that data received from Defender for Identity, from Identity Sensors. And are enabled to monitor, manage and investigate threats in the network environment. And when I tell, talk about Defender for Identity Sensors, then Defender for Identity Sensors can be installed directly on the following servers, either on domain controllers. Now sensor directly monitors domain controller traffic without the need for a dedicated server or configuration of port mirroring. Or it can be installed on ADFS, then the, then the sensor directly monitors network traffic and authentication events. And now third component, which is Defender for Identity Cloud Service as per the architecture. Now Defender for Identity Cloud Service runs on Azure infrastructure and is currently deployed in the US, Europe, Australia, East and Asia. Defender for Identity Cloud Service is connected to Microsoft's Intelligent Security Graph. Now what would you use portal for? So I'll uh, will use the Defender portal to create Defender for Identity instance, integrate with other Microsoft security services, manage the Defender for Identity sensor configuration settings, data received from Def Defender for Identity sensors, monitor detected suspicious activities, some other things as well. And now what would you use? And now if you would uh, talk about Defender for Identity sensors, as I, as I told you, it would capture and inspect domain controller traffic, receives uh, Windows events, receive radius accounting information from the VPN or retrieve data about users and computers from the Active Directory domain. This was a basic architecture. Now what would Defender for Identity provide or the benefits? It would monitor and profile user behavior and activities such as permissions and group membership and then it would analyze user activities and information across the network. It would identify anomalies with adaptive built-in intelligence, giving us the insights into suspicious activities and events, the list of advanced threats, compromised users and insider threats facing the organization. And it will also protect user identities and reduce the attack surface. Now through security reports and user profile analytics, Defender for Identity helps reduce the organizational attack surface, making it harder to compromise user credentials and advance an attack. Then it would also identify suspicious activities and uh, advance attacks across the cyber attack kill chain. Now, Typically, when an attacks are launched against any accessible entity, such as a low privilege user, and then quickly move literally until the attacker gains access to a valuable assets. Now, it would uh, 
monitor the LDAP information, user group membership, and uh, host and server name enumeration, then it would see brute force attempts to compromise credentials, lateral movement, things like that. Well, I believe this was informative for all of you guys. In the coming videos, we'll discuss about the configuration of Microsoft Defender for Identity Sensors, a little bit of Microsoft Defender for Identity Architectures, and uh, I'll try to provision a lab for compromised accounts or data, and then we'll also discuss how to integrate this with other Microsoft tools. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.